for me. I had more. The Rat King is frightened of the sun. Well, I guess these are the Nazis everyone talks about in this film. And I'll tell you, they got Art Spiegelman's work completely backwards. It's the cats who are supposed to be the Nazis, not the mice. God, that was the most serious Tom and Jerry comic I ever read. <laughs> the Rat King is played by John Totoro, portraying a Hitler-type Andy Warhol. Oh, you mean similar to... There is absolutely nothing similar to this. As his soldiers discover saboteurs trying to blow up his base. You'll never be more than a mangy, dirty rat. It's all so unnecessary. How about a magic trick? Ta -da! It's gone. Oh, wow. Oh, wasn't that magical? Welcome to a Stygian mirror. Darkness web rodents seem much clearer. Oh, God, this is so Tchaikovsky. You know, it's good that kids can watch this and think Nazis aren't all that bad. I do hope this has a tie-in with Nick Jr.'s upcoming show, Nutsy Nazis. I hear they're doing a crossover with Peppa Pig. I'm more concerned about that great white shark or something. See if you get this. He has a giant shark in a tank just so he can kill it. He is a masterpiece. I'm not a villainous mastermind, but I feel like there's more possibilities with a Hitler anti Warhol rat and a shark in a tank. And I feel like the budget could have been a little higher than that. The shark looks fake. Though not as fake as the asylum. I think. Like, something more has to come out of that equation. Hey, look, it's pictures of the audience. He just rubbed a kid's nipple. Nutcracker! Mother! Oh, it's only you. For pretty much no reason at all, there's also a rat queen played by Francis de la Tour. Though, I don't know, I still think that's Tanya Harding's mother. The spell on the prince is broken. He's alive. Alive! I can't imagine test audiences actively writing down more Rat Queen legs open. That is one of the ugliest women I have ever seen. Or was it designed to be ugly? I don't know. It's. <sighs> what did I just saw? Please, lunch not entirely gone yet. It's funny, so many horror films try to scare people and don't succeed, but really, all we needed was Andrei Kocholovsky to entertain your kids. That somehow gets the most terrifying imagery one could come up with. His take on Cartoon Network would be the most terrifying thing imaginable next to Cartoon Network. The Rat Queen recasts her spell to transform the Nutcracker back to the way he was. This somehow wakes Mary up, showing this was all a dream? Question mark? What is it? Why aren't you in bed? I have to save him! So, only about halfway through, we suddenly get what's usually reserved for the third act of Mary being told her stories aren't true and nobody believing her. Where are you going? I don't want you to see me cry. Nobody's listening. Not even trying. Something your acting coach said a lot. They simply say, Come with me. Oh my god. First the bad acting, now the you bad singing. singing. Coach too? To her credit, I wouldn't sing well, but I had to stare at that Pac Man voodoo doll either. And I feel I'm wanted. Oh, where's Maya Rudolph when you need her? Okay, I can't go that far. Hey, look, the second time Einstein talks to the camera. I have the strangest feeling that something is wrong at Mary's house. You look like that troll doll nobody played with at the bottom of a toy chest. This film would have bombed if they all looked like you! Is everything all right? Uncle, a quiet word in my study. Alfred comes to the house and finds everything is in disarray. When you leave, please will you take the doll's hearse away with you? Tell me one thing before I go, Joseph. Were you blackmailed to be in this movie too? Has it really been so long <sighs> since you've been a child? Ah, uh, he cried. His dreams had died. The young forget 
and all too soon his life was overtaken. Yeah, let's just call this song what it is. You're at the age of not even trying. Then all the make believe will bomb. <laughs> Who's gonna bomb? Left alone, abandoned. It's one of those magical songs where everyone remains perfectly still, the camera doesn't move, and we're not even focusing on the person singing. It's like step in time if it was sit in silence. Yeah, I saved it for you. The father agrees to let Mary keep the nutcracker when Albert shows he still has the pebble he played with when he was a kid not realizing it was just one of the many lucky pebbles Albert carries along. I'm so glad I didn't leave the house without my lucky pebbles. Barney, my pebbles! Meanwhile, some rats sneak into the house. God, you gotta love those effects. Shit. It's like Emo Phillips if he was a secretive Nim Happy Meal toy. As we cut to- <gasps> He has spies everywhere. Gosh. You know, Pumpkinhead would be a much scarier movie if he looked like that. wakes up and realizes why he had trouble sleeping that night and every following night in the future. Do you want to join the fight against the Rat Kingdom? Yes! On one condition, that you promise not to break any more toys. Why, just looking at you is breaking us. They head downstairs and find that the Rat King has kidnapped everybody and asks Mary and Max to join him. Play something for the kiddies, drummer boy. Something snappy. Now, let's say you're unfortunate enough to watch this as a child. You don't know what Nazis are, or World War II, or anything like that. You'd probably be getting through this movie okay, only bothered by the demon eyes of Pinocchio Captain Cruncher. But imagine you're a kid halfway through, and you see this. And you reach You probably shit all over the floor! No, I didn't, like I just but... did. What's that smell? Again? That's the second time someone's done this in this production! The fucking CG! Introducing... This is... Said that the mask levels are bad? I'm not sure what's worse. This or the Asylum Shark movies? Anyway, you can be really protected though with Express VPN. Protecting. This was a very abstract ad. Uh so the Rat King takes Mary's friends away, and she tries to, um, tell on them? I call my father! Father? You can't even convince the man we're real. We're like Man Bear Pig. Uh, wait, is he real now? I keep losing track of what I'm supposed to think. We have another special rat bite for you to ride. A rat bite? I'll be right back, Mary. I've been easily seduced by fascism. Tell me, do you also have Turkish delight? So Mary tries to figure out what to do by talking to the monkey, who, for some reason, they just left behind. How did you do that? Remember what your Uncle Albert used to say? When in doubt, blow it up. That which seems beyond our reach may, in fact, be close at hand. No, I'm pretty sure it was when in doubt, blow it up. They travel through the mirror to the Nutcracker City, and I have to say, this Planet of the Apes spin-off is much stranger than I thought it would be. The sun is blocked out by smoke from burning toys. You do know the rats burn toys. Wait, like inanimate toys or living toys, like the ones we've been seeing? All dolls are alive. Okay, I guess that's supposed to mean they're all alive. You're not. You ever wonder what happens to a doll's soul when it burns? You're seriously not. 
Oh, yeah. You thought this was just going to be simple bad guy Nazi imagery like in Indiana Jones or old Looney Tunes cartoons? But no. People being rounded up, children crying, and the sky filled with smoke from factories burning piles of what they just made clear are living individuals. All of this is actually happening. So this is a manifesto. But it's cool because an incredibly silly song is sung over it. That should lighten up the constant reminder of one of the darkest times in our world's history. Yeah, that pretty much matches my impression. You know, it's funny that Nathan Lane is in this because this whole entire movie is like the show the producers were trying to put on to get it so jaw-droppingly awful that it would bomb the first night! I never talk about bad taste. Fantastical! Fantastical! Sorry about that. I'm sorry, but this is disgusting. This is legitimately disgusting. It makes me sick to my stomach, and the idea that other artists would be inspired by this, like other people would want to replicate it, it's just, I, I, I'm sorry, I gotta talk to Rachel for a second. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. All right, Kevin, you outwitted my friends Jeffrey Dahmer and John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> Pilgrim. But there's no way you can escape the biggest threat of them all, Charles Manson. Kevin, oh my God. come on out, or we're gonna do terrible things to your Legos. Pilgrim. Oh my God, stop, stop! Thank Christ. Oh, jeez. What is it now, Critic? What do you mean, what is it now, Critic? You're serial killing Home Alone! It's not actually serial killing. It's just Legos. It's very clear what you're doing, and nobody's gonna think about a little kid outwitting burglars. They're just gonna think about all the terrible things those killers did. Critic, I'm trying to take people into the darkest region so that the happy scenes seem happier. I am an artist. I must be allowed to... But it's coming across less like you want to make people feel good and more like you just want to stand out by using shock tactics. Oh, that's rich. Coming from the guy who gets people to watch him just by shouting the F word. Hey, I don't just shout! I don't just shout the F word. Talk about me being immature. Nobody would watch you if you didn't drop the F bomb all the time. You know what? You're insane, this project's insane, and I'm gonna finish this nutcracker to prove that it's insane too! Oh, he just doesn't get it. It's always more important to be loud than to be right. You're on Twitter, aren't you? I'll show her. I'm more than just screaming the F word. Aren't I? I don't think so. I mean, there was the time that my dad thought that he swore too much. But... Nah, I don't think so. Let's just move on. So the others escape, but the Nutcracker is about to be burned. Again, not thinking of anything else at all. Okay, get back on track. So they try to distract the guards while Mary saves him. I'm starting to wonder if Jerry Lewis just put on a fat suit and this was an expensive redux of the day the clown cried. I can see now why he never wanted it released. You see, we have to hurry. Mary rescues the Nutcracker. Wait, that can't be him. He's actually there. But the Rat Queen spell seems to have worked. Who's the Nutcracker? Wait, that can't be him. He's actually there. He's actually there. But the Rat Queen spell seems to have worked too well, and he's just an inanimate toy. Please. 
Oh, she just realized she can't get out of her contract. But the fairy comes and says only Mary has the power to bring him back. It has to be you. What do I have to do? I don't know. Bye. What do I have to do?